Yeah, put, put, your, put your together, Mike Shane. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> when it comes to filmmaker teams, you can't get much closer than Ben and Andrew Adams. You know, one person, I think, can crumble under pressure, but if you have a really core group, and especially if you have a twin, you can really make something great. Which the twins and their friends did last year, winning the 48-hour film project in San Antonio and then L.A., and with it, a screening at the Cannes Film Festival. Probably the most elite film festival in the world, and so just being able to experience that this past May was like a really incredible thing. I mean, it's kind of like when the Spurs win, all San Antonians feel proud. Sarah Beth Fox says that big win encouraged other filmmakers, prompting a full slate of teams for 2015. I'm sure that it probably heightens people's competitiveness, but at the same time, it probably boosts their morale. Like, somebody from here can win. It really shows that San Antonio can hold its own when it comes to arts. Chris Pachado says the project puts filmmakers to the test. It's got to be a passion of yours because it is one of the most stressful things you can do, even if you're with your best friends. It is pretty grueling, uh, hardly any sleep. Bobby Merkel says that's because each film must fit the guidelines each team is assigned, like a musical. After all that's been said, I just wish you were dead. They give you some elements that you have to use in the film so they know that you filmed it during that 48 hour period. A spoon was our element. And rather than make it really obvious, you know, like, oh, I found a spoon, we tried to work it into the dialogue while someone's saying something, you know, they're eating oatmeal. It worked for them ever since. And for those who make it work, the rewards from 48 hours of filmmaking can last a lifetime. My stepdaughter loves it. She sings the song still to this day. We've made friends in Australia, in uh, Australia, did I already say Australia? We got friends in Australia. I mean, we never would have thought that competing in this we'd make it to Cannes, but sure enough, we were given the opportunity and we took it. JT Street, Fox News at 9.